Alright, um, what's up everybody? Hi, hello. I'm Dove, and, um, I wanted to make a, an update video, because it has, it's been a minute since I've, like, you know, done one of these, and, um, sort of a good way to catch up between both, like, the Twitch side of my audience and the YouTube side of my audience. Um, I just kind of wanted to go into how things have been the last more, for, uh, last few months, that. Um, so, for the YouTube side of things, I finally published the rest of the Final Fantasy Tactics Let's Play. Um, there's more I could add to it, but, like, I'd rather do that on stream at some point. Not, like, post-game content or anything, but, like, going over redoing, like, my story analysis and all that. Um, that'll, that'll come soon, TM, someday, maybe. Um, but as far as, like, stuff like that is concerned, Final Fantasy Tactics, I think I said at the beginning of the project would be my last, like, full Let's Play for YouTube specifically. And I'm sticking to that, at least, you know, tentatively for now because I can't see the future. Um, as far as gaming content goes, if people are a fan of, like, just me playing video games or whatever, go check out my Twitch, link in the description. Um, that's where my gaming content is going to be going forward. Um, this channel is still gonna, like, exist, and it's still gonna have, like, a lot of my one-offs, my non-sequitur stuff, um, and other stuff. I'll, I'll more on that later, but, um, for just the gaming content, check out my Twitch. Also check out the Twitch Archive YouTube channel that I have. Also link in the description. And, um, yeah. Uh, that, like, as far as, like, me doing, playing through games and talking over it, that's basically a Twitch thing for now. Um... Again, can't see the future. Maybe that'll change, but I kind of, I kind of really have always preferred live streaming the the gameplay stuff over recording it. I don't know. It's just it's always been better for me. Um, for the Twitch side of peeps, I kind of wanted to make an update because as of this recording, it's been nearly a week since um, I took a break, mostly for internet reasons. Um, and tech issue stuff, but I kind of wanted to go over everything because I've kind of needed this break for a minute anyway, so I want to say it was about a month ago, maybe more I got the um, motherboard in my computer completely replaced, motherboard CPU were completely replaced and the tech issues that kind of took me offline last year went away with them it was kind of actually really bizarre so I have no idea what caused any of that, but um Things got better, so I was like, cool, I can stream again. I want to finish Yakuza 0 because, like, I have a capture card again, too. So, like, I kind of want to, you know, go through all that. I want to, like, finish that because that game was really good and, um, you know, this, that, and the other. And then it was like, cool, I kind of want to play Loma Lana too because a friend of mine was, like, not pressuring me, but it was, like, you know, really politely suggesting that I play it, but also very fervently, like, hey, I really think you should play this game, and I'm glad I did. And then that led me to kind of, like go back into the full-time thing, which... So, about a year ago, when I stopped due to tech issues, it was also due to burnout issues. I had been chasing numbers, I had been trying to go for partner, and there's nothing was working out because of tech issues, because of me issues, because this, that, and the other. So, I needed that break. So, when I was able to stream again, like, as much as I wanted, I was really enjoying it, but I, I made myself a promise that I then swiftly broke. That I wouldn't go full-time again and chase partner and this, that, and the other. And, um... You know, I actually have a reason for it. It wasn't that, like, oh cool, I can stream so I can chase again. Like, around the time I had started streaming again, I had been offered a really nice, like, from-home job that would have been enough money to, like... I, I would have been set financially for, like, the foreseeable future with the situation I am in slash would be going to. But, uh, and I'm not going to name any names or companies or any of that because I don't want to burn bridges. Like, I, I don't have any ill will towards the company itself, but it's like, because it's people I, the people I spoke to were really, really cool. Um, but, like, due to a circumstance, which I'm also not going into, that was beyond anyone's control and not indicative of any, like, ability or anything on my end, um, I was unable to... I, I, I couldn't get it, basically. I, I got turned down due to a an external circumstance. 
And the stress of, like, chasing this job combined with the stress of losing said job kind of really... I needed something to cope and the stream was there. But then it led into old habits of chasing numbers, chasing partner, chasing growth, and then, like, the inevitable stress and spiraling that <laughs> came as a result. Um... And then, you know, as of this recording like a week ago, I started noticing some internet issues, tech issues, this, that, and the other. And, um, yeah, so I, I kind of had to stop. And p making this video and talking about this is a part of that. Um, like, I couldn't bottle it up forever. It was just kind of a lot of anxiety happening all at once. Um... And, you know, some things in my life that I also have to kind of fix and take care of because, you know, kind of went a little nuts chasing things again for a minute. But, um, I've been speed testing like every five minutes this entire week since I've been off high, uh, since I've been off stream. And, um, you know, I haven't noticed anything normally around this time of year. It escalates into like a big giant, uh, signal issue. And, um, it hasn't happened yet, but, you know, knock on wood, and I don't want to, like, you know, jinx anything. Actually, I'm kind of trying to jinx everything. But, um, you know, I'm, I am probably going to continue streaming. I just, you know, I can't do the full time anymore. I can't chase. I can't go partner. I'm just going to stream for fun while I, um, look for something else. And it's just, you know, it's just disappointing because the, the job I lost, uh, nothing will compare, <laughs> I think money or job wise to like what I think I can actually get so you know but I'll find something I'll be fine it's just I needed a uh, I just needed some time to kind of get my thoughts in order and to monitor stuff without the stress of like also putting on good streams uh, you know like every day um because part of the issue was like oh cool I'm streaming again I'm going for full time I'm chasing again blah 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 but I'm still giving myself two days off. Well, the problem is I also raid in Final Fantasy XIV. And the two days off that I gave myself from streaming happened to also be the two days that I raid. And and uh, right around the time the patch dropped, I was like, I'll just stream the raids instead of recording them. That way I don't have to edit them and I can just like highlight and export. Okay, cool. And then that led to the real obvious realization. Oh God, I'm streaming seven days a week. I can't do that. So, um, I've kind of taken this week to kind of, like, work on stuff, and in part of that is making this video to explain everything, but also to kind of, like, make a schedule to where, while I'm raiding, I can have time off. And having solutions to the whole streaming raids hurts numbers, just in case numbers become, like, an actual thing. Um, like, I kind of needed to get a lot of stuff in order. Um, I needed to get scheduling in order. I needed to get, like, happy options for, it, you know, streaming raid, you know, with it. Like, finding a good balance in my life for everything I want to do while also not running myself off a cliff, basically, in terms of burnout and spinning my wheels. Um, and part of that also means a Patreon rework. Um, doing the Patreon stuff... When I was recording it, finding the time to record was stressful because a lot of that also included editing, which I don't like doing. I have never liked actually doing the editing for video content because I could put hours and hours and hours into something that like one person's gonna watch. I don't feel is worth my time. Um, but like, and doing that on a time schedule on top of that was really stressful. So I moved that to streaming it. And in ripping off Rarzar's Heaven or Hell, I kind of forgot the part, the, the, the downside of that is, oh yeah, this is, this is why it didn't work out then. So, um, I, I have spoken to the super patrons in question, and, um, I'm going to, I, I have a new idea to make it all work out for everybody so that the people who are in that tier are satisfied with the content and the ability to do it in a way that also doesn't stress me out to the, like, just to the limit and, and, like, put pressure and time schedules on me. So, um, I'll go into more of those details later on, not in this video or anything, but, um, you know, keep an eye on Twitter and whatnot. Um, 
and the Patreon itself because that update's gonna come soon. I'm gonna, probably gonna do that by January 1st or so. Just wanted to like let everyone know that a Patreon rework is incoming in a way that shouldn't push me and stress me and this and that while still giving a satisfactory amount. Um, I have been talking to everybody involved, and they all seem pretty happy with the idea, so now it's just a matter of fine-tuning it and actually putting it into practice. But, yeah. All of the Patreon content, by the way, is on the YouTube archive, the Twitch archive, because I was streaming it, and it was a lot easier that way. I can, if needed, and if there's, like, a demand for it, put it on this channel also, but, um, there's already a spot for it, so I think it'll be fine. Um... And I just bought an external hard drive, so like all of my video content, like I'm dedicating this four terabyte external hard drive specifically to my video content. Like nothing else is really going on it. Maybe some like games and saves backup stuff like that, but like I bought a four terabyte external hard drive so that I can like get these videos off of my computer. <laughs> Cause I also bought an SSD that I need to reformat and you know, get set up as well. Like when I replaced the uh, motherboard of my CPU, I also got an SSD. And it didn't work out at the time, but, like, I'm gonna work on that later. Like, I don't need it right this second. But, um, yeah, Patreon rework for the Super Patrons coming soon, TM. And I'm gonna think of some, like, more substantial rewards for the lower tiers as well. But, um, you know, a lot of that is just, it's just, it's coming soon. Like, I'm probably going to realistically take some more time away from the stream to work on stuff like that. And also relax, because it's, the r and is, like, the one bit of, that I haven't actually done yet. Um... But in the meantime, yeah, it's also going to include a part-time schedule for when I start streaming again after Christmas, probably. Um, and for people who follow the Twitch, yes, I am going to continue and finish Final Fantasy IX for the archive, and also because I love the game. And then Symphony of the Night Blind. So, hey, yeah, YouTube side of people that aren't following my Twitch, I have stuff lined up you may want to check out just as a, a thing. Um, yeah. And, um, when I come back to the stream, I'm not gonna try and stack it with, like, a bunch of different stuff full-time like I was. Like, main game, challenge game, side game, and then, like, rando stuff. I'm gonna keep it pretty chill with, like, stuff, with, like, things. Yeah, I'm just gonna do casual playthroughs and maybe, like, once a month as a bonus incentive for, like, patrons or, like you know, sub goals or whatever, do like a challenge run or something, but it's going to be pretty chill. As for this channel, I did say I was coming back to it. My plans going forward here, I actually am still going to try and make content for this channel. It's just going to be a lot less like playing through games focused and more just kind of creative stuff I wanted to do focused. So, um, I've wanted to do a thing for Charles V Sportsworth, my, uh, uh, college football commentator turned used car salesman voice thing that I've got going on. Um, I've wanted to do something for that for a while now, and I finally, I think, have a format I want to do. So I'm not going to make any announcement here in this update video because it's already kind of crowded. I, I'll make something a little bit more towards that, but consider this your teaser. I want to do something for that. I want to do the inner Jove thing again like I was doing at the beginning of the year, and then, you know, creative bankruptcy combined with COVID combined with everything happened. Um, and I didn't finish it the way I wanted it to, but, um, I think I'm gonna try and make the inner Dove stuff going forward a little less ARG related. It'll still be interactable, but I don't think it'll be full ARG. Um, but I kind of, I, I enjoy doing stuff like that. Um, so yeah, sports worth and inner Dove stuff. Some more one-off content like I used to do back in the day. Um... I think it was like the Strawberry Fields game or something where I went on a really long... Uh, abstract tangent while playing this abstract game and it was it was a lot of fun to record I want to do more stuff like that um, I miss doing stuff like that um, and then like you know I want to do around the campfire again I want to do just some off-the-wall stuff that I've always like I want to make content that I've had fun doing I want to make weird stuff for YouTube and game stuff on Twitch you know as long as Twitch still exists and whatnot um, that's the basic idea. That's the basic plan. Um, so yeah, the TLDR, yeah, I needed a break from Twitch because I broke my promise to myself that I wasn't going to go full-time again, and then I went full-time again because I got stressed over job stuff. 
and I took a break because of internet stuff again, and it's like, okay, maybe I need to reevaluate and actually get my ducks in a row. And like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. So like, while I'm still in the planning phases of all the content I want to do for this channel, go check out my Twitch and the and the subsequent archive of my Twitch stuff. Links in the description. Um, and just kind of keep an eye out, you know, maybe at some point when I get more drafts going, I can like actually announce the sports for stuff when, once I actually get like enough substantial outlines of a proper format and storyline and stuff, I can actually like announce it. But like before when I was doing the sports worth idea, I, um, I like didn't have a format I wanted to do it in. I, it was originally in concept going to be a live filmed video series. And I realized pretty quickly that is not only beyond me, but also kind of impossible to actually do right now. Because, like, you know, the, the world kind of doesn't really allow a lot of people to be close together or else we will die. So, um, yeah, so video project kind of was like beyond me and then became impossible. Maybe at some point I'll do something like that because, you know, I have a camera and I want to use it, but, um... Yeah, I have a format for the sports where stuff going forward, and I'll, I'll go more into that in a different video. But, um, when I come back, there's going to be a Patreon rework. There's going to be a schedule for part-time stream stuff. There's going to be a secondary Twitch channel for specifically my FF14 stuff. Or I'll stream it on YouTube even, I don't know. Um, and, um, stream is going to be pretty chill. Blind games, chill games, and then maybe some incentivized challenge stuff rather than trying to fill like every day though. I'm going to make sure to give myself time off, time to breathe, and schedules can change when I'm no longer like focusing two days a week on raiding. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That'll just be how it is going forward, but I think I'm still going to take some time to both work on creative stuff and also just kind of relax because it is Christmas week. So, um... Yeah, my update videos get long and rambly, but I had a lot to talk about this time. So if you did stick through like all of it, um, thanks. I appreciate it. But um, yeah, um, TLDR Tactics is the last Let's Play for now, like full on video Let's Play in the foreseeable future. And definitely gaming stuff at Twitch, uh, but also I'm taking a small break and working on creative stuff, testing internet, testing tech stuff and planning content. So um. Yeah, thanks for sticking by. Um, thanks everybody who supported me over the years. Um, and who supported my chase of numbers that didn't pan out. I, I really appreciate it. But, um, while I kind of get my life in order, I kind of need to just kind of do chill creative stuff that makes me happy rather than stuff I think would be, like, better for everything else. But, yeah, yeah. I rambled enough. Thanks so much for hanging out and, um, for watching my stuff live and recorded and supporting me just in general over the years. I really appreciate it. Um, it has been a ride and, you know, the roller coaster is probably going to get a little more open world. Anyway, that's a bad analogy. Have a wonderful evening. Love your faces and peace. Bye.